Hi guys, in this video, I'll be discussing the, the paper 2020 grade 4 on IMC. And also, thanks for IMC for giving us this material. Moving on to question number 1. What, what number is covered? So in this equation, there's times 5. So if we send times 5 to the side, then what will happen is the equation will become x, which is our number, which is hidden by the shoe. Minus 7 equals 8. And then, uh, since this, uh, what's it? Yeah, since this 7 is negative, when we take it to this side, it'll become positive. And then 8 plus 7 equals 15. So x would be 15. So the answer for number 1 would be 15. Moving on to number two. Jazzy Wazzy Jumper jumps half a meter in one jump. How many jumps will it take him to travel 48 meters? Okay. So, what you would do here is... Okay, so that's 48 times one half which is basically equal to 48 times 2. So 48 times 2 is 96. So 96 would be your answer. Moving on to number 3. Tycho drew a 7x5 rectang uh, rectangle, but then his puppy Mishka ate part of it. The rectangle has been ripped, but some green aliens and yellow smiley faces remain. Use the pattern to decide how many yellow smiley faces Tycho drew on it on the original rectangle. Okay, so I'm gonna draw seven. Seven Okay, so these are the seven things right here. And then the big dots represent how many smileys. So, like, the big dots represent which which column has three smileys. So, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then the small dots represent how many columns have two smileys. Okay, so now that we have this information... 3 times 4 equals 12. So 12 is not our answer. First, we have to keep 12 aside. And then we have to add this. So one. So now we, we would count the 2s. And there's 3 2s, so that's 3 times 2, which is 6. So 6 would not be our answer. We would do 12 plus 6 which is 18, which would be your answer. Moving on to number four. A typical die has the numbers one to six arranged on its sides so that the sum of each pair of numbers on the opposite side equal is equal. What is the greatest product of two numbers on opposite sides? Okay, so this is actually pretty easy. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and a 6. So, 1 and 6 equals 7, 2 and 5 equals 7, and 3 and 4 equals 7. And they're all on the opposite sides. So, what we would do now is we would see the product of them. So, that's 1 and 6, 2 and 5, 3 and 4. So, the product equals. So, 1 times 6 equals 6, 2 times 5 equals 10, and then 3 times 4 equals 12. And the greatest is 12. So, the answer for number 4 would be 12. Moving on to number 5. Kate can make 15 fortune tellers in 18 minutes. I'll write that down. So, 15. 
15 or 18. At this rate, how many paper fortune tellers can you make in 30 minutes? So this is minutes, so we put 30 right here. And then question. So uh, what we would do here is cross multiplication. So that's 30 times 15. And so 5 times 0 is 0. And then 3 times 5 plus 1 times 0, which is five, one, I mean, it's 15, but we're going to add that to 3 times 1, which is 4. So that's 5. So that's 550. But what were we doing with this 18 right here? Well, with that 18, what we're going to do is we are going to divide. So that's... So this would actually be really hard. I know. So what you can do is you can just write 30 times 15 by 18. And then you can just take these out without, without solving it. So we have, uh, we have three tables, six, five. And then right here we have five multiplication. So that, we have two, so that's three, and then this is 15. And then we have three and 15, which can give the third table. So that would be a five. And this is a five, I know, it looks like an eight. It doesn't even look like a number, but that's five. So that's five times five, which is 25. Okay, so yeah, moving on to the next question, number six. Oh yeah, and the answer for number five would be 25. So number six. Elise wrote all possible four digit numbers using two of the digits two and two of the digits zero. Two of Alice's numbers ha have a greater difference than of any other pair. What is that difference? So first we would write the four digit number. So we have 20, 20, as shown in the picture, and then two, two, zero, zero, and then there's two, zero, zero, two. So yeah, these are the only numbers. So this is one, and this is one. So when we subtract these, we would straight out know that two, two, zero, zero, minus two, zero, zero, two, has a greater difference than all. So this would be an eight, because two minus zero is equal to two, and then two plus eight is equal to, yeah. And then, this, and then this would be a nine, and this would be a one, yeah. So yeah, the answer would be 198. Peter, the two-year-old terror has, 80, has had 80 babysitters. One-fifth of the ba babysitters have quit, so that's 80 divided by 5. So when we do this, we would get pretty obvious 13. That was 13. We would get, um, so what we would get would be And it would be 18 because 12 times 5 equals 60. And then uh, there's 20 left. And so uh, 5 times 4 equals 20. So if we add 4 to, tw to 12, we would get 16. So 16. So now that we know how many have quit, 
now we can solve how many ran screaming down the hill. So 16 have quit. I'm gonna write Q equals 16. Total is 80. And then eight have fired, so I'm gonna write F. Now when we add these, we would get 24, and then we would subtract 24 from here. And so when we do this, we would have six, and then this would be, uh, this would be five. So that's 56. Yeah. So the answer for number seven is 56. Moving on to number eight. Jamila paid 220 for five sharks and one keychain. So let's write that down. 5S plus 1K equals 220. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna write right here. So that's five sharks plus one keychain equals two twenty. And so we also have that Lu Lucia paid three three forty for two shark erasers and six keychains. So that's two shark erasers plus six keychains equals 3.40. And then we can add all of the stuff, which gives us seven S, which is seven shark er erasers for, uh, I mean, seven shark erasers and seven keychains equals five sixty. So yeah, this is now the equation. And now, uh, since there is seven sharks and seven keychains, we can just make a fraction where the denominator is seven. Now we have to make all this equal. So, that's one shark plus one keychain equals five, 5.60 divided by seven. So what you can do to make this easier is you can take this uh, decimal right out of your mind and then, then you can just normally divide. And then what we would get is eight. So the answer for number eight is eighty. Uh, well, how? Uh, this is just one shark plus one keychain. So how can it be eighty? Eighty. Well, yeah, that's the question. How many cents did we pay for one shark eraser and one keychain? So yeah, moving on to number nine. Steady Eddie's clock always reads the correct time, and Fast Phil's clock always set al is always set 15 minutes ahead. 50 minutes ago, Phil's clock read 2:50 p.m. How many minutes after 3 o'clock p.m. does Eddie's clock read now? So, what we would do is. So Phil's, cl Phil's clock read two. Oh, whoops. Read two fifty fifty minutes ago. And so, in order to get how much time it is right now, we would do plus fifty. And then. What we would do is, when we add this, we would get 
three, we would we would get three forty. But remember, this was Phil's clock, and Phil's clock is fifteen minutes ahead. And so here we would do minus fifteen to get the right time, and this would be twenty-five. So twenty-five would be your answer. Well, isn't it three twenty-five? Well, no, it's not three twenty-five because it says how many minutes after three o'clock p.m. does Eddie's, which is the right times clock read now. And we just calculated the right time clock, and that was over three three o'clock. And how much was it over three o'clock? Twenty-five minutes. Yeah. So twenty-five would be your answer. Okay. So yes, I like this problem. So what is the area of the shaded figure if the area of one square is five centimeters? So if the area of one square is five centimeters, then the area. So, how you find an, the area of a diamond? What you would do is you'd calculate the height. So you'd calculate the height, which would right now be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So that's. Eight. The height is eight, and then the width is one, two, three, four. So eight times four divided by two. So this is two, and then yeah, that's eight times two, which is sixteen. So sixteen. Is not your answer. Yeah, sixteen is not your answer. So what we would do is this: the sixteen is just if this rhombus were filled, but this rhombus is not filled. Is it has a dot in the middle, or actually another rhombus in the middle. So if we can find the height and width of that, and then divide by two, we can just you know subtract them and then do the thing. Okay, so. The height of this is four, and the width is two. So four times two by two is equal to four. So four would not be your answer. What we would do now is we would do six. What we would do is. Sixteen minus four, and we would get twelve. But twelve would also not be your answer. You have to do twelve times five, and you would get sixty. Moving on to number eleven. If Pirate Jack splits all of his coins into seven equal piles for his parents, he has four coins left. Or if he splits all of his coins into eleven piles. For his shipmates, he has four coins left. Assuming every pile has at least one coin, what is the least possible number of coins Pirate Jack has? So here we would use LCM. And if you don't know what LCM is, then please、uh, pause this video and then watch another YouTube video on telling you telling what is LCM or ask your mom and dad. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is the LCM of seven and eleven. Seven and eleven. So here, what we would do is there's nothing to do this. So what we would do is we would just multiply, you know, because like that's what you do at the end of LCM. So like seven times eleven. Equals seventy-seven. So seventy-seven plus four equals eighty-one. Because he has four extra. 
when he does these. So since he have since he has four extra, we would add the extra. But if he had four less, then we would subtract the less. And then he, yeah. That's how he, so the answer for number 11 would be 81. Moving on to number 12. This is a pretty hard one. So, um, 80, 80 feet long, 40, and 16. And also, we would just multiply it by a half. Why? Because, like, yeah. It's filled half. So that's 80 times 40 times 16 times 1 half. And then uh, since this is half filled, it that only affects the height. So you would take the 1 by 2 out of the height. So that's 8. So now the real equation would be 840 eight, 80 times 40 times 8. And so what we can do here is we can just do 80, I mean 8 times 4, which would be 32, and then 32 times 8, which I'm going to solve here, and, and I would get 256. So, yeah, that's, that's it, not it. So, we have 256, but this does not equal 256, because if you, if you were, like, really listening a lot, then you would notice that I just didn't count the zeros. But, yeah, I didn't. So, what you have to do is you, you, just have, you have to include them back in. That's 256, zero, zero. And so, 2,525,600. And then let's solve the other one. 50 feet long, 50, sorry. Fifty by 16 by 12. But this is fold, filled. So yeah, you wouldn't really need to solve that thing. Okay, but so now that we have this, what we would do is we would just multiply these. Yeah. So 5 times 12 is 60. So, so what we would do is 60 times 16. And then, uh, don't worry about this underline zero. That's for later. But we're, but right now we're gonna solve sixty times sixteen. So that's zero times six, and then that's zero, and then that's six times six plus one times zero. So that's two right here. Well, that's actually twelve, but you know we're gonna borrow the one here. To six times one, which is six, but then plus one because the bar. So that's 720. So that would basically mean seven. Are you really sure this is right? Zero. And then this, yeah, that's wrong. Being weirdo. So six times six is equal to thirty-six. So six right here. And then we have a three left over. So six times one is six, but then plus three, which is nine. So yeah, that would be it. Yeah, I was being weirdo and adding. I was adding. So it's ninety-six. Oops, whoops, yeah, yeah, no, this is right. No, it's not right. 
So that's 960, and then, wait, that was 96. And then we had zero at the end. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is correct. So now what we'll do is we'll add everything. So, uh, can't I just erase it? This will take long. Alright, so what we would do is 250, 25,600 plus 9,600, and we would get 0, 0, 2, and then, yeah, so like, like, 3, so, so the volume would be, but it was asking for the height. Okay, okay. So what we would do is we would do three five thousand six hundred. Uh, no, 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 no. Two hundred divided by eighty times forty. Well, why are we only choosing the big the the big tank, and also why are we only choosing eighty and forty? Well, we're choosing the big tank because everything from the small tank uh, got like so everything from the second pool got into the first pool. So we're choosing the first pool, and why we're only taking eighty times forty is because we want to figure out the height. So in order to figure out the height, what we would do is we would have to, like, yeah. We would have to divide with the feet, uh, the long and the width. So what we would do is this zero goes up. I'm going to draw this a little neatly. So that's basically just the feet. So, so that was three. Five, two, zero, zero, divided by 80 times 40. And then there's zero, there's zero, there's zero, and there's zero. So now this is much easier multiplication. So, um, yeah, four times eight equals 32. And then right here, there's 32 more. And then that's an 8 again, because 4 times 8 is 32, pretty much. And so, now that we have, we, we still have 8, and so 8 and 8, 88, that's 11. So 11 would be your answer for number 12. Pretty, took a pretty long time. Okay, moving on to number 13. Find the parameter of the park. So this actually seems pretty hard, but it's actually really easy. So this this is a four right here, right? This is a six and this is a five. So first what we would need is we would need one of these. And then we would easily get the answer. Well, guess what? We already basically know this side. Well that is because see this side is like greater than so this side is greater than a half of four and a half of four is two and what is in the middle of four and two three so that side would be three so yeah the side would be three and so, uh, now that we have it like this, 4 minus 3 equals 1. And so that means that this leftover side would be 1. And then 1 plus 5 equals 6. So we know that this is a square. So 6 plus 6. So basically 6 times 3, which is 18, 
plus five plus three plus four. And then what we would get is we would get 30. So yeah, 30 would be your answer. Moving on. Shall cut the moving on part. Okay, so that was the end of the... Cut that part too. So yeah, guys, that was the end of the... Cut the, cut the parts where I said those stuff. Okay. Okay, so, guys, I don't really know the 14th question. So, but if you do, put it in the comments below. Uh, but that was the end of the video. Bye, see you 